For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 11. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sophia. And if you're not new here, that means you're a fine babe. <laughs> Today, I have a special package from Uni's Hair. So, you know how you order your hair and it comes with all these lovely gifts from lashes to combs, all sorts of things. But today, they have introduced a new wig cap technology. And I cannot wait to introduce it to y'all on my channel, Sophiology. Girl, I've not done a voiceover in so long. I'm so excited. <laughs> but this is the most transparent cap I've ever seen. Like, you can see right through it that I need my nails done. <laughs> but seriously, this is so innovative. Like, where has this been all this time? Ooh absolutely weightless this just makes sense look how you can see my edges through the cap i'm a little nervous about it being see-through but it's doing what it needs to do like wig caps are meant to be a barrier between the wig and your head stopping all that friction on your scalp protecting your edges and keeping the wig in place right but because this is so thin and smooth we don't see how it do, okay? I'm excited, like seriously no need for pantyhose at this point when they're making wig caps like this now. Come on, I can't wait to see how the install comes out. It's already looking set and good. This wig, ah, the lace is beautiful. The customization is great. And I'll show you exactly how we got there. This is a perfect beginner friendly wig. You don't have to worry about plucking it at all. It came pre-plugged. I bleached the knots and forgot to use purple shampoo, which cancels out those orange tones. But I think we go do all right. I'll do it later. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna take my hot comb and set it to 500. And once it's hot, just start pulling that hair back with it. I want to have that pull effect like it's growing out of my head. And I like to customize my wigs on the mannequin because I've burnt my head one too many times. I'm not bringing that hot comb anywhere near my head again. So I like to set it on the mannequin head as you can see with that middle part. And just to make sure it's right without having to wear it, I take some measuring tape. It's a five by five closure. So two and a half is right where that middle part needs to be. And that looks about right. I'm now going to section out my edges. I like to have edges. It's not by force. Thankfully, with this wig, if you're a no baby hair kind of girl, it's already ready for you. But as for me, I like me a little swoopy swoop or whatever. So I'm going to just part those out at an angle. As you can see, I'm coming in deeper towards the track, but coming closer to the lace towards the middle part, if that makes sense. Just parting at an angle will give that natural hairline effect. No plucking needed at all. Thank you so much. I love when the hair comes like this. It's not every day. But yeah, I'm gonna take some mousse because I want some product on it just so it can lay flat. Tell the truth, hasn't this been easy to follow? Just a little parting, a little hot combing, a little mousse or whatever, a little cutting of the baby hairs if you want them, and we're ready to install, just like that. I'm gonna comb my hair back to get it as flat as possible under this wig. I'm a little nervous about this part because it's a little crooked. I, know, I don't know if the cap will camouflage it. We'll just have to see. And I didn't put any makeup on the part. I'm gonna take some Gossipy Glued Spray and spray it on my edges to get that cap to stick right where it needs to be. It dried very fast and it cut very, ooh, ooh. This is the most thinnest. I'm not used to this at all. But yeah, because I'm wearing a closure, there's no need to do all that shakara near the ears. Mm -mm. I'ma just cut it off, my dear. I've been enjoying closure life. It's very hassle-free. Frontals are beautiful, but my gosh, I can't even grip the uh, cap, it's so thin. Like, <laughs> I'm so used to being able to pull it up, but this is like literally skin thin. But yeah, you're just gonna try your best to <laughs> cut it. Watching myself struggle is so funny, sorry. But I really couldn't pull it up. Like, it was really like thin. I'm gonna just keep it right there. I'm gonna take some of my foundation, which was too warm in hindsight. But yeah, just cover it up a little bit and take the wig. Look how beautiful that looks. I curled the edges just a little bit with a tiny little curler. And I put some hair wax on the top to get it flat. I'm sorry I forgot to show it, baby. I won't forget it next time. But that wig is not even HD. This is 4K lace. Eunice, you have done a digging. Even the construction of the wig was very neat too. Let's put on the wig to make sure it looks the exact same way it did on the mannequin, which it will, okay? This 34 inches is doing me up. It looks so good. 
It's the bust down middle part for me. I'm gonna take my got to be glued spray and spray it along the cap and hopefully it doesn't lift. I don't think it will. I gave it enough time to really dry, if you get what I mean. And I'm gonna place it right where it needs to be. And I'm gonna take some more spray and spray it on my comb and just get that lace to really stick to my head in the front. I didn't use a band or nothing. It just solidified on its own. Taking some mousse, I'm gonna use a little bit of product. You never wanna squirt the mousse on your head. It just becomes overwhelming and I have makeup on. I don't want that stuff all over my face. So a little product at a time goes a long way. You just wanna focus and make sure you're swooping it. <laughs> it's so curly, it was giving me a hard time. Like, you're not gonna mess up my eyebrows, I'm sorry. But yeah, just taking my time to swoop it and curve it the way I like. I could have cut the baby hair shorter and made them a little thinner, but it is what it is. I think it still looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. This hair is so long, I keep sitting on it. <laughs> this 34 inch hair lifestyle is not easy, but I love it here. To set everything and make it hard and crisp because I'm not letting these lacer edges lift in this Texas heat. I'm going to spray it with some got to be and blow dry it with some very hot heat and a mixture of cool air too. You kind of want to fluctuate between the two. Now my name would not be Sophia if I don't play in this blow dry here. <laughs> it's fun, you should try it. It makes you feel like a fine babe. After I blow dry it, I'm gonna brush it. Get everything looking nice and smooth. Aye! <laughs> this hair did not come to play at all. The movement, the flow. This is probably the best wig I've ever got from Uni's hair. It was also very easy to flat iron. I didn't have to use any serums or anything to get it to move like this. Just some luscious hair. So if you decide to get this beautiful 34 inch unit from Uni's, make sure you use my code to save money off and try this new cap and let me know what you think. As for me personally, I love it. It is Sophiology approved. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Down below in the description box, you will find all the information you need from links to specifications and even my discount code, which you should not forget to use. God forbid you spend full price on my behalf. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.